Good morning, mighty man. Today and the rest of this week, we'll be reading Paul's letters to the Thessalonians. In this video clip, Dick Simmons gives us insight into these readings, and we'll pick up where he's reading 1 Thessalonians 1 and verse 3. Your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, mm -hmm. and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord. Wow. There it is. Faith, love, hope. Mm -hmm. And your endurance inspired by hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, faith takes care of our past, and hope takes care of the future, and love takes care of the present. Right. So God wants us to have a present salvation, and then we have that when we're filled with his perfect love. Mm -hmm. He says, brothers, loved by God, we know that you were chosen of God because the gospel came to you not simply in words, but because it came in power with the Holy Spirit and with deep conviction. And Paul knew that who he was talking to was really chosen of the Lord and were really open by the anointing that came on him. God doesn't put an anointing on us on his servants to speak the word in power except when there's an, an openness and a willingness to accept and to obey. So anyhow, he says, you became imitators of us and of the Lord. In spite of severe suffering, you welcome the message with joy by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, they evidently were persecuted immediately. The Lord's message rang out from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has become known to everyone. And it says, basically, they became a model to all other Christians mm -hmm. in the early church. So that's why this book is important. So the church in Thessalonica is a model to us. Let's read with that in mind. And our Bible reading today is 1 Thessalonians, the first three chapters. 2 and verse 2 says, But though we had already suffered and been shamefully treated at Philippi, as you know, we had boldness in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in the midst of much conflict. Chapter 3 and verse 2, And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, as we do for you, so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. Let's pray. Father, we, we want also to be that church that's filled with faith and love and hope that Dick talked about. And Lord, we see in verse 6 of chapter 1, you be, it says you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, in the days ahead, we know that we may face a lot of affliction, but Lord, we want to receive your word with joy. We want to set aside your word to avoid affliction. Lord, we want to embrace your word with the joy of the Holy Spirit, that we would stand strong. Lord, that we would increase and abound in love for one another. And Lord, that we would be established blameless in holiness before God and Father, so that when you return, you find a pure uh, a church. And Lord, particularly for us who are men, that where we struggle with purity, Lord, that our eyes would be blameless, that the, our actions, that our words would be blameless, Lord, in holiness before you, God, and, and our Father. Lord, we pray that you would raise up men, men who will stand strong in Jesus' name. Amen. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, follow, and share it. Shalom.